Now, let's learn how to insert, delete, hide, and move rows and columns in Google Spreadsheet. So what we're going to talk about today is how to insert, delete, hide, and move rows and columns. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to insert a row. Again, a row, it's the horizontal line, or yeah, the horizontal lines of cells. And then the column, that's the vertical lines of cells. So we, you can understand the difference between the two. So first thing that we're going to do is to insert a row. So for example, as you can see, this is um, sorted alphabetically. So it's from A to Z. I want to insert here a row above Carl. So I want to insert a person with the first name starting with the letter B. And there are ways for you to do that. Um, the first way for you to insert a column or a row is to use the insert tab, click on it. For you to insert a row, you have to click on a specific row. So for example, I want to insert a row above Carl, then I need to select the row where Carl be belongs. And Carl belongs in row 4. So for me, to add a column above or add a row above Carl's row, I'll just have to go to insert, row above, that's above Carl. When I click on it, there will be a new row added there. And an alternate option to that, let's say for example, I'll add another row and now it's below Carl. I want to add a row be below Carl's row or row 5 is for me to right click my mouse. And you can see here, insert one above or insert one below meaning you can insert one row above Carl or one row ab below Carl. And what I'll do, is I'll just in, uh, choose insert one below. And there you go. I was able to insert two columns, one above and one below. Here. So that's how you insert rows, I'm sorry. I was able to add or insert a row. A row above Carl, or a row above row five, and a row below row five. That's how you can insert. And similar if you would like to insert a column. But this time, instead of choosing a row, if you're going to insert a column, you have to choose a column. And again, I already showed this in uh, the first lesson. But for you to be able to choose a row, you have to choose, or a column, you have to choose the letter. So for example, I want to choose column B. Then I would need to hover my mouse over to B, the letter B, and I'll choose it, or I'll click it. Instantly, I am choosing all column B. Similar with row, if I want to choose row 5, I'll just hover my mouse over to number 5 and I am able to choose, click on it, I'm able to choose the whole row 5. There. But if you just need this, then you can hover your mouse over to the range, like from Carl to age 42, something like that. So for now, let's try to add or insert a column again. Um, for example, I want to insert a column beside column B or a column beside email. So again, there are two options. I want to insert a column before column B. I'll go to insert tab and I'll choose column left, meaning I will add a, add a column to the left of column B. And when I choose that, I get this. And another option, again, I'll choose the email column, all of it. I'll click on the right side of my mouse and I'll choose insert one right there. So those are two ways for you to insert a column or insert a row. Either you can use the insert tab or you can just right click on your mouse and you'll be able to insert columns and rows. For deleting, it's super easy for you to delete a row or a column. But let's try to identify the difference between deleting a row or, and clearing the values of that specific row. So for you to be able to delete the row, again, you just have to choose the row. Right click on your mouse and you can see there, delete row. Instantly, that previous row has been deleted and the row below it has been moved back to that row. Again, let's say I want to remove row 5 here, this one, this um, blank row. I'll just have to click on row 5, right click on my mouse, delete row. Okay, similar with column, I'll just have to remove, I want to remove column B. So again, I'll choose column B, right click on my mouse, delete column, delete column C, right click on my mouse, delete column. And it's also available here. 
I'm oh, sorry, that's insert. <clears throat> so that's how you, you are able to delete a column in a row. And the difference with that, um, for example, you chose column C and instead of using, I mean, using the process that I showed you, you chose to press the delete button on your keyboard. What would happen here is this. Instead of deleting the row, it would delete the values on that row. You see the difference? So let me show it again. So here, if I want to delete column C, I will need to delete column. As compared to using the delete button on the keyboard. Because what would happen if you use the delete button on the keyboard, it will not delete column C, it will just remove the values in column C. Just like this. So that's the difference. But you're, you also are able to do that. Either you delete the column, you clear the column, meaning you are going to clear the values in the column, and here you are able to hide this column. There. So what would happen here? Whenever you open this sheet, you won't see column C anywhere, but it's still there. And if you want it to be shown, you just have to hover your mouse over to this arrow, just click on it, and it would again show column C. So that's how you hide a column. And it's also similar if you would like to, to hide a row. For example, I want to hide row 4. Again, I'll just choose the row, right-click on my mouse, and hide row. There. So that's how it will show if you hide row 4. If you want to show it again, just hover your mouse over to this arrows here up and down. Either of the two will do, just click on it, and it would show the hidden column. It will unhide that column. Okay. So we're able to first insert a column in a row, delete a column in a row, hide a column in a row, and now let's try to move a column as well as a row. Let's try to move a, a row first. Okay, so if you see here, each time that we're trying to do something about a row or a column, we have to choose them first. And I've showed you how you can choose the, the column or the row, you just have to click on the numbers corresponding to that row. So for example, I would like to move column three so that it's after column 4, after the column of Carl. So again, you just have to choose the corresponding row that you need to be, uh, that you want to be moved. For example, here is column 3. I'll choose that. If you can see that hand showing after you choose column 3, just drag. There. If you drag it, you're able to move it down and move it up and if you release that's when it will be moved there again let, let's do it one more time this time I'll, I'll move Carl below Audrey so again choose the row if you see that hand just click on your mouse press and hold and then drag it down there now you're able to move it to row 4 so for example, I want Ryan on top of Paul. Just click on the row, drag up there, and drag below. Or you can drag it somewhere up there. Or if you want it to be returned, down there. Similar with moving a column. Again, you just have to choose the column. Let's say I would like to change the alignment of this headers. I want company shown first before, or maybe title beside the name. So I'll choose the column where the title is placed, it's column D, and I see that hand there. Once you press and hold, that hand, that open hand would close, meaning it's holding column D, and now you can drag there. And you can drag it back or somewhere that you want, where, where you want it to be dragged. That's you, how you're able to manipulate those rows and columns, how you can insert, delete, hide, and move a row as well as a column. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.